Well, hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. Listen, today is the day. The American Express Platinum just got upgraded. It's new, but is it improved? I wanna talk about it. I wanna talk about the increase in the annual fee and the new benefits that have come to the Platinum card. Is it right for you? And did I just make a mistake getting the card a few days ago. We're gonna get into it, but before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be up to date on all my upcoming videos. Let's go. All right, well guys, we knew this was happening, right? It's been rumored for a while. American Express just brought changes to the Platinum card. Uh, yesterday, I posted a video how I just got my American Express Platinum card locked in for my first year at the $550 annual fee rate. And uh, did I make a mistake? Do the new benefits actually benefit me? Well, we're gonna go through them. So I'm on American Express's website right now and it's showing me the 100,000 point offer with 10X on restaurants, okay? I got the 100,000 offer with 10X on gas and groceries. This is 10X on restaurants. Um, you have to do 6,000 in spend in the first six months. 6,000 in spend in the first six months, uh, which is different than mine. I think I only have to do 5,000 in six months. Um, so a little, a little bit different. And the 10X on restaurants is up to 25,000 in combined purchases, pretty crazy. And then there it is, the annual fee, $695. Um, if you click into the offer terms, um, you can you know, see all the details, but yeah, there it is, $695, it is there. Uh, and so, hey, let's look at some of the new benefits that are out because of this, this change. So. Things that I'm really excited about. One, they kept the airline fee credit, which I'm super excited about. So this is a fee credit, so bag fees or uh, seat change fees, any sort of fees that are associated with an airline ticket, up to $200 a year, really excited about that. Uh, the $200 in hotel credit, you have to book, uh, these, these are prepaid fine hotels and resorts or hotel collection bookings. I believe you have to go through the concierge service for this, uh, but it's nice that we got that. We still have the $200 Uber cash. Uh, you still have the Uber VIP status, 5X back right on flights booked directly with an airline or through Amex Travel, 5X back on prepaid hotels. And then we started to get into uh, some other things. You got the $300 Equinox credit is confirmed, all right? So I did actually chat with some American Express customer service because I wanted to know uh, what, what does this cover? Like are the details we're seeing on the website, the full extent, and they did confirm to me this is really only for membership. So if you go on Equinox's website, they have a shop. And so I was looking at what do they have on that shop, basically priced lowest to high. And it really doesn't matter because the American Express rep essentially told me straight up, this is not for that. It is for the memberships. And so you actually have to go to, um, go to platinum.equinox.com to enroll. It's $25 a month even their digital membership. So none of the clubs are around me. So I can't really take advantage of the physical club locations, even if they were around me. Guys, these are super expensive clubs. I'm not sure I would do it anyways. But the digital is $40 a month to get access to all of their online content. So 25 bucks off, that's, that's pretty significant. Um, so if you're interested, if you're looking for that, this might be interesting to you. For me, unfortunately, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to take advantage of this. So $300 Equinox credit, I feel like I'm, I'm really losing value there uh, uh, with that change. But some of the other new benefits, there is now the $179 membership fee for Clear. That's the Clear credit, so you can apply for that. They kept the pre-check credit on there, which I think is just awesome. It's nice to see that they didn't get rid of that. Oh, also the $240 digital entertainment credit, that was confirmed. Here's the thing about that, that though, guys. Um, there's only, it's only for a few things. It's only for New York Times, it's for Audible, it's for SiriusXM. Oh, Peacock, yeah. And so that that came, that's a new feature, obviously. We still have SACS, Global Dining Access with Resi, yeah. All right, so that's pretty much everything. Did I make a mistake? Um, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. I'm really glad that my first year is gonna be locked in at the $550 rate. I have no doubt I'm gonna earn the bonus. I'm gonna easily have positive value in my first year of this car. Uh, am I gonna have it in a second year? I think so too. Again, because of the 100K bonus, I think it's gonna be great. Looking at some of these new credits, I'm not super excited about them. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to take advantage of the Equinox credit. Uh, the $240 entertainment, I was really hoping that would be a lot more streaming services uh, and entertainment services than they have currently partnered with. I also did ask the customer service rep about that and they said at this time, you know, this is all they got and they'll you know, be sure to announce if they have any other partners. Looking at this list, none of these things are something that my wife and I currently use. We have used Audible. And so talking about this, that is probably where we're gonna get the most benefit from with this credit. Uh, but that is money that I wasn't planning on spending anyway. So uh, it, I wouldn't say that's even a good value for us per se, though I, I'm kind of on the fence there because again, we have used them in the past. I am excited to get the membership with Clear um, and Equinox isn't really gonna do anything. Uh, the $200 hotel credit is nice. So looking at all of this, if you were able to take advantage of every single one of these credits, man, hands down, slam dunk, this is an amazing, amazing upgrade for the American Express Platinum card. If you can't use these, I don't know if it is. And I think this just pushes this card further away from people that were maybe on the fence at 550. To go to 695 is really cutting a lot of people out of the picture to take advantage of this card. So I wanna know what you guys think. Are you liking the changes? Are you nervous about them? Do you think, no way, I'm never gonna get this card. Uh, I'm glad I got it at the 550 rate. I might be one of the last people on earth that got this card for $550 a year. So I'm excited to lock that in. My first, uh, my first change of, of the 695 won't be until next June. Um, and so I got a lot of time to really dig into these, get signed up for these credits and figure out really how do they play out, how will they benefit me, and we'll see how it's gonna look for me in the future. But hey, that's all I have for today. Hey, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can see future videos, and let me know, are you excited about the Amex Platinum changes? I'll see you next time.